for your own safety, if you can stay in your groups, you've all got uh, the, the diamond uh, coloured stickers now, if you can stay in your groups and do precisely as your stewards tell you to do. So talking to Les Donnell, hello Les. Hello. And you are the, you head up a driving school. Yeah, I run a driving school in the town uh -huh. and I'm also a representative for LADSA, which is a Luton and District Driving Schools Association. Um, basically we've got um, all the driving, independent driving instructors together and we're working together and as a a result of us working together, we're trying to put something back into the community and keeping these kids alive, what we're teaching them. First aid kit's always handy. A torch, there's several torches, here's a little tiny one. Uh, you've, got, you've got a large one here. And also, if you buy yourself bumbling about, one of these on, on the back of your head will actually allow you to do a wheel change. And you can simply keep both hands free, okay? Yeah. Well, so far we've got the police involved. That's the road traffic investigation unit. The paramedics are involved, the fire brigade, the Luton Road Safety Council and the driving instructors. But don't forget, if you've got a car coming towards you or you're starting to follow a car closely, you need to drop them back down again because you're blinding them, you're dazzling them. So you've got your blue light on the car on the dashboard. Typical misunderstanding that most young people have is around cannabis. They, uh, quite a lot of young people believe they can have some cannabis and safely still drive a car. Some of them have some awareness around alcohol, because that's quite well publicised, but in terms of how it affects their driving in terms of uh, drugs, they seem to think, yes, I can do it, and it won't be a major problem. Even things like cocaine or speed, it tends to uh, make you feel very up or um, very alive, very alert. They seem to think that's going to make their re uh, reactions a lot quicker. But it doesn't. Right. Who doesn't wear a seatbelt? You've got someone in there that's not belted up. The forces involved in a crash are so significant that you're going to be rattling around that car like a rag doll. What we've come here to launch is a defensive driving driver promise where youngsters who've recently passed the test realise that they don't know it all and that they are in fact the most dangerous of drivers on the road because of their problems of lack of experience. So what we want them to do is to get their parents to agree that they'll sign a defensive driver's pledge that it's, we're giving out leaflets for them and it says they promise not to get involved, never make themselves vulnerable and never be involved in somebody else's death wish. <laughs> Now it's quite often that the young driver the concerned doesn't drink, doesn't want to drink, but she wants to take her friends out. So they all pile into mum's Corsa or Fiesta, which is totally different from the learning to drive vehicle that they trained in. And they put two, three or four people in the back seat. And if there are four people, they can't wear seat belts. And one of the problems with a small car with a heavy load in the back is it handles totally different from any other vehicle they've driven. The front wheels don't grip the tire, the tires don't grip the road safely. And as they go round a bend with a heavy weight in the back, a slight touch of water on the road, and unfortunately they lose their steering, they lose control, they crash, and you could have five or six deaths just on that one simple incident. Yep. So far I've looked at the car maintenance. Um, there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong with a car, it's quite scary actually. Yeah. Like just having like a millimetre too little tread depth, what can happen? It's quite scary when you when they tell you what can happen. Right, okay. And you've been sitting in with the police, haven't you? Yeah. And what did you 
What did you hear there? Um, the thing I must remember is the, um, the seat belt thing in the back seat. I thought it would only affect me, but as you know, there's this guy and he's, he's like nutting this girl and his head biting her because he's, um, he's crashed. He's in the back seat. And uh, yeah, and it's his girlfriend he killed and he was still alive. But.